Can scoliosis affect your voice? Scoliosis is the development of an unnatural sideways spinal curvature that also rotates. Scoliosis is also a progressive condition. It has it in its very nature to worsen over time. Scoliosis can have a number of effects that can be felt throughout the entire body, as, especially as the curve progresses and it becomes more significant. Now, the most noticeable symptom associated with scoliosis in children is postural deviation. We'll see uneven shoulders, we'll see uneven hips, we'll see uh, abnormal space between the arms, see the arms hang unevenly, we'll even see un uneven rib arching or rib development. However, the most noticeable symptom in adult is pain because in, in the adult, the scoliosis progression is compressive as a result of gravity, and it's the progression of compression that causes the scoliosis to become painful because it starts to press on nerves and tissues and causing different types of pains and symptoms. Now, when we look at scoliosis and how it affects a person's voice, that we know scoliosis affects each patient very differently. An issue in one, uh, some issues that affect one patient may not affect others. So it's not always indicative that if you have scoliosis, you're always going to have this problem. However, as scoliosis get more severe, it's more likely to affect more functional issues. And scoliosis does have the potential effect to possibly affect voice or singing or even breathing as a result of postural changes, rib development, nerve pressure, and pain. Now, scoliosis has, first thing, it can affect postural changes, which can have effect on, pa on patient's voice. We know scoliosis ranges in severity from mild to moderate to severe to very severe. Mild changes are normally not gonna affect this, but in severe cases, as postural changes make it harder for a patient to remain standing, it makes it harder for a patient to take full deep breaths because of the rib de development that starts to occur. It can start affecting the patient, person's voice and the ability to sing, especially sing professionally. We also know there's a connection between muth muscle lengths and postural alignment. And as muscles shorten and they become tighter, they can lead to forward head posture, which can decrease the pharynx, can make it very narrow and make it harder for the patient to get good breathing, a good vocal resonance through their singing ability. We also know scoliosis patients also have a very, can have a very thin sagittal balance, meaning as the curve becomes bigger from the front, they become flatter from the side. And as, the, as they get flatter from the side, that space for, for the pharynx to go through can also become thinner as well because of not only the curve size or the forward head posture, but also the thinning of the space. And this can affect uh, the person's ability to breathe, causing some restrictions in those areas as a result. Again, only in, in significant scoliosis cases. We also know that it can affect breathing because as curves become bigger, they can can start affecting the rib development and rib arching. And as they cause rib development and rib arching or rib, at, rib deformity is another way of saying it, it can start affecting the way the lungs can fully expand. And as these lungs can't fully expand properly because of the rib development, it can affect the patients from getting full breaths and make it difficult to inhale and exhale deeply. And this can ask, actually affect their ability to breathe and, and their voice and the ability to sing. And, it, and also this postural deviation and rib development can also affect the diaphragm. And as it affects diaphragm, it can affect your ability to you use your lungs appropriately because the diaphragm can't fully expand and lift the lungs up properly. Because we know as the spine goes through the diaphragm, it actually causes, as it's twisting, can cause a twist to diaphragmatic muscle. And it can cause issues with the singers in terms of developing their full voice or full development as a result of their diaphragm not functioning properly. So we look at all these different reasons, we know it definitely can affect voice, we know it definitely can affect the ability to sing and breathe um, in, in a significant manner. Now we also know that as curves become more significant in the adult stage, they can also cause pain. And anytime you have increased pain, you can affect longevity and your ability to stand and ability to take big breaths in, especially if you have pain in the mid back. If you have pain in the mid back and you have to expand your lungs and close your lungs as you're taking, um, as you're singing or, or, or using your voice in a significant manner, we know that can have a negative effect on voice and singing. So the best way to avoid this type of problems with scoliosis is to minimize the progression of scoliosis through proactive treatment. We know proactively reducing the scoliosis, keeping the curve small, keeping the curve flexible, not letting the curve become more significant, it's less likely to cause all the things that I mentioned. And the key thing to addressing when we look at a patient is 
to try to reduce the curve is we look at the age, we look at the size of the curve, we look at the location, we look at the severity. And as we as all those things get worse, they become harder to reduce. As we take care of those things in earlier stages, they're easier to reduce. So we know scoliosis is progressive, but it is highly treatable. And the sooner the treatment plan is, is implemented at, sooner to the diagnosis, the more likely you are to alter the progressive nature of scoliosis and minimizing the effect, which decreased the potential of developing voice and lung issues as a result of your scoliosis. So our recommendation is that if you know you have scoliosis, is to monitor it minimally, but more likely is to treat it and reduce it especially if you're considering singing or any type of voice type of career because as curves get bigger they're more likely to affect these things thanks for watching i hope you found this information helpful if you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis type in the comments below and let us know and finally subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content thanks